So me and the fellows, we went to a movie theater in a mall to watch the FNAF movie, and it, it was great. <laughs> there's a part of me who is the FNAF fan, and there's a part of me who is a movie fan and a movie critic, kind of. And unlike the Sonic movie, both sides of... The hell was that? Both sides of me it greatly enjoyed this movie. Like, the entire time me and my friends were watching the movie, we were losing our minds. So many scenes happened where we legit just started clapping. It was... it was amazing. Truly something I'm not gonna forget for a long time. It was super fun. Um, would love to do it again. Uh, after the movie, though, uh, me and the boys went to GameStop, and I made a, made a purchase. That says $12, but I got it for 5 It's Vanny! Sorry, my man. I hate you in every ounce of my being! Yeah, that sucks, man. I never got any of the Glamrock figures, because they... They kind of look bad. Your Chica looks okay. But all of them are remolds, and that would that works for Transformers, where half of the guys are the same thing again. But that doesn't work for FNAF, even though they are by definition most of the time the same character. Literally, they're not all recolors of each other. They all have very distinct body types and designs. So this is why this is the only one that I ha that I got because uh, it was a one. It was an original mold. Two, it was for sale, and three, uh, I just wanted to get something to commemorate this awesome occasion. I got out the funny snips. Snip. My model kit snippers. There we go. Huh? Very nice, actually. Very nice. Looks a lot like the character. She's got her knife. God, it bugged me so much that she didn't have the knife in the game. Because, like, all the marketing had her with the knife. Uh, yeah, some more thoughts on, on the movie. Ignore the noises, I'm just throwing away the box. The pacing was a bit off. It was really slow at the start. The intro, the intro itself was great, but after the intro, it was a very slow start, and then immediately afterwards, when the story actually starts going, it's super fast-paced. Like, it feels like there's only 20 minutes of the movie left when the- when stuff really starts happening. Also, I know a lot of people got angry over the red eyes, and I was true at first, but honestly, I kinda stopped caring. I just thought it was funny, cause just- <laughs> Freddy looked high! <laughs> the entire time! Also, Shaggy as William Afton is comedy gold, I love that. Okay, onto the toy review. Even though this figure is heavily based off concept art, it is still pretty accurate to the game, and I like that a lot. I like the different patches, and I like how they actually went through and sculpted and painted most of them. I do wish the ball joints weren't just jet black, and they could have been white to blend it a little bit more. But this was their first humanoid figure in the FNAF line, so I don't really blame them. Uh, the knife that she comes with is a very tight fit in her hand, but when she's holding it, she's not letting go. That's what she said! <laughs> I'm sorry. She kind of has a dead look in her eyes, but I suppose that's kind of accurate. She also has more range in the head rotation than Glitch Trap, which is pretty good. And she also has a waist rotation. Why did they stop doing that? She has a ball joint at the shoulder, elbow, and wrist swivel. Wrist swivel, what the hell? Ball joint at the thigh, and a ball joint at the knee. And as average, these are mix and matchable, so you can switch them with other characters. Though they do look smaller than the average, actually, wait, give me a sec. Okay, here's the man, the myth, the legend, Springtrap. Yeah, that's how, that's, yeah, life's going great. I didn't actually check if the ball joints were the same when I did the script, when I wrote the script. Oh, yeah, they, they are the same. They're the same. That's just silly. So, uh, yeah, overall thoughts on the movie, it's a great watch. Like, even though you can watch it on Peacock, I would definitely recommend seeing it in the theater. It makes it such a more fun and surreal experience, finally seeing these characters I've known and loved for years on the big screen. And it honestly was pretty emotional.
not the movie itself, but me finally seeing these characters in something that I've been waiting for for the majority of my life now. Uh, spoilers for the next five seconds, Matt Patch shows up in it. And everyone clapped. <laughs> Yeah, the action figure is really good. It's a really good representation of Banny, and I just, it's really nice. So, yeah, I totally recommend the movie and this figure. M maybe I still have those rose tinted glasses on, because I am such a fan of the books and the games, but genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, this is the best, this is my favorite movie I've seen all year. And to put that into perspective, a Spider-Verse and a Transformers movie also came out this year. That's how much I loved this movie. Anyway. Uh, yeah, go <laughs> go watch it. Um, so, uh, yeah. Bye. Michael! Don't leave me here! <laughs> Michael! Michael! Help me! Surprise, motherfucker! Oh.